Hey guys, this is Chess Fanatic back with another chess video. Now this time uh, it's going to be a game between a couple of very high level players on Lee Chess. Uh, there's one named Pap G and the other name is Arthur Avalion. I'm not exactly sure how to say that name, but uh, the actual user that um, I'm following right now is Pap G, who is 29-24 after this game. That's a very high rating. And... Um, I was just studying this game and uh, it was really, you know, uh, it was very out of the box and uh, non-conventional That's uh, type of gameplay. That's the reason why I actually wanted to show you this game as well. Maybe uh, we will learn something new from this by studying it together <coughs> in detail. <laughs> right. so again, now white comes up with d4 and uh, black follows up with e6. And then we have a, a another unconventional kind of move. Not a lot of people use this. So we have c4 from white, and then we have d5 from black as a reply. Then we have a knight. Then again, knight move. Now obviously there's a pawn exchange, and uh, that's okay so far. But the odd thing is now black actually has <clears throat> a very open middle, which is not something that you would see. Uh, very often and at this time a lot of people would be thinking that this is a disaster of a game and you might not actually win from this or recover from this but let's see what happens so anyway now this is a little bit of a conventional game at this time understandable so black is coming up in a better position at the moment this was the only choice for him to do the castle uh, king side because there was no other choice uh, to get the stability back in the game now, the knight has moved at this point because the rooks are going to be aligned together. And maybe there's going to be, I'm sorry, the bishops, maybe they're going to be a exchange. And yeah, we do have an exchange. So, why there's a castle as well. And then we have a nice lineup built. Now, black is coming back into a stronger position at this time, which is a good thing. So, black is trying to progress from this side again. A lot of these things don't really make sense because I'm not really that high level, so I'm not exactly sure why he would move the pawn there right away. Maybe he's just trying to attack and gain some momentum and get more points on the board. So, too many moves. Now, the good thing is that Black has this rook file open, which is going to be beneficial in the coming few moves. Now again, black has a very strong position here. He is attacking this knight. So it needs to be protected all the time by a queen or any of the uh, pawn or anything else. And if any of the piece, that is. So if white moves the knight, then queen is in danger as well. So there's exchange. That is possible, but black is not directly going for the exchange. He's trying to cover the queen and see what white does. So white takes uh, queen for queen, and now we have exchange, but black still has an advantage of having two rooks open and this, these two files. So now white coming up with the knight, and black is attacking this bishop as well right now. So it seems like black is playing the game of a white uh, player because normally white uh, sides would attack more, but black on this side is not defending at all. He's attacking most of the times which is kind of like odd now there is a possible rook exchange but black goes for a double side again all right so now this rook has an opening here if this knight is moved our rook is attacking the pawn now towards the end of the game so most of the time what i've noticed is you go with the pawns if you if you, if you can't really take out other person's pieces you can actually go for the pawns and that actually helps you towards the end to win the games as well so this is going to be the strategy uh, strategy for both the players right now so a lot of moves back and forth and uh, both of them are trying to get into a better position and maybe trying to you know wait for the other person to make a mistake because the time is short as well it's only 25 seconds for black and 18 seconds on the clock for white so it's going to be a little bit more stressful situation at this time 
Now all the pawns are covered for black, so that's that's actually a good thing. Black is not letting go of any pawns. Too many moves back and forth. Too many moves back and forth again and again. This is something that you need a lot of patience for. All right, so finally white gives up and takes his bishop. And again, black has the advantage of pushing a pawn up towards the white's side as well. Again, this pawn is in danger and again, black comes up with a king and saves the pawn. Now this is a very good move and this is probably going to be the end of the game. Now white could have taken this knight but he did not. And uh, one issue with white's strategy here is that he has left the king alone and he's not really attacking the other person's king. All right. So now the king is in danger and is a little bit trapped as well. So there's a check. King moves to the corner. There's another check. Kings move here. And this is the final checkmate. This beautiful strategy from black and actually this was one of the best ways to get white out on a checkmate. And um, I hope you like this uh, game and let me know if you like these kind of, you know, um, games from other players as well because most of the times I just post my content but uh, sometimes I study other games as well and I like to show those as well. So let me know if you like this kind of content. With that chess fanatic out, you have a nice day. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye-bye.